Good afternoon, Rye Guy here. I'm going to teach you what not to do when mounting a GoPro camera on your chin. So probably the most popular mount for GoPro cameras for motovlogging are mounted on the helmet, mostly on the chin. In the past, these have all you've had to work with. It's just basically figure out a way to mix and match whatever you had to put it either on your chin, on your side, and then have that great big arm sticking out here, and it's just a mess. So, I figured I was going to invest in so invest into a new camera mount. And then I thought, well, I really don't want to put a new camera mount on some old helmets. Plus, I've had that helmet there since I was like 18, and that was given to me. I forget even where I got that thing. This is what you shouldn't do. See, you shouldn't screw into your helmet. You shouldn't glue or Velcro anything on the front of it. It just looks horrible, and it doesn't. it's not going to last. So, enter the new helmet I got. 2021 Bell MX-9 Adventure Helmet. I've always liked these Adventure Helmet styles. Um, this modular helmet I've had back here, that was great for the winter time, that was great for the summer time. This helmet here, I'm hoping is gonna be a good all round, all year helmet. I do have a double insulated helmet uh, visor coming for it, but um, that's not gonna be here for a while, hopefully before the snow flies. This bell helmet, I'm not actually going to talk about this here today. What I'm talking about is the camera mounts that we're going to be putting on this thing. So, I found a company, just doing a quick search, who sells custom-made, to-fit, um, 3D printed chin mount uh, camera mounts. So, I ordered one. I thought they looked good, so we're actually going to just be doing a quick little review of this thing here today. Um, this is not a paid review. I paid for this for my with my own money. I paid $52 USD and another $41 USD in order to get it here to Canada. This company is called Wannabes. They are outside of uh, California. I'm just trying to think of Ch Orchard Street, Cherry Valley, California. That's where this thing comes from. Um, startup company from three guys um what i really like about this company is all three of these guys ride so they know what they want they know what they needed and they knew what the market needed so they just went ahead and did it so i haven't even opened this because the seal hasn't even popped yet so we're gonna do that now nice little cheap chinese knife and we're gonna take a look Okay, lifetime limited warranty, backed by lifetime replacement guarantee. We don't anticipate any issues, but if anything happens to your mount while you're using it with the helmet it was designed for, just email a picture of the problem um, and uh, we'll take care of it. Cool. Made in the USA by family-owned business. So, installations are pretty uh, straightforward. They do have a little uh, QR code here you can go to. Uh, on your phone. However, they do have a website uh, with um, YouTube videos available as well, too. You can just follow along. It's very simple. Test it, peel the back off, pull back the mount wings because it's going to be yeah, here. I'll show you. Rather than just it's going to be, I will show you. So inside the box, sweet. Look at that. They even give you a, uh, a GoPro um, camera screw with it. That's good because. I lose these things quite often. So here's the mount itself. And uh, oh, look at that. Awesome. I thought I was going to have to do that myself, uh, get a little bit of alcohol. They provide sterile alcohol prep pads. Um, like anything you're putting on a decal or whatever, uh, you can see this is going to have uh, 3M tape, which is good. It's like I like, should like to see that. Um, not like off brand tape, it's actual 3M tape. Um, so there's the mount itself. It is a 3D printed mount. Um, I'm actually not quite sure what the material is. Oh, look at that. They got their they got their logo kind of 3D printed right in there. Um, not quite sure what 
material this is made out of ABS, ASA, or PLA. Um, kind of feels like ABS. Maybe if the guys from Wannabes uh, want to tell me in the comments section what you actually printed this out of. ABS is quite easy to print. Um, PLA is a little bit easier to print, but not as strong. And ASA is... Uh, same properties as ABS, so you get some flexibility over time, but it, uh, it's a little bit more resistant to UV. So, ho hopefully, maybe it is maybe made out of ABS, or um, ASA. Yeah, correct me if I'm wrong. Super simple. 45 degree tilt indicator, get the perfect camera angle, slim profile, uh, designed to fit your helmet. So this is actually very important. This mount fits one style helmet. It fits this helmet here, which is the MX-9 from Bell. They do have lots of other mounts available on their website, and they do give you some cool decals. Actually, it's pretty high quality decals too. So, uh, you know what I should do? I should actually weigh that up because it's actually very important to have a lightweight camera mount on the helmet. Any weight that you add to the front of your helmet or the top of your helmet or the side of your helmet does add stress to your neck because you're adding weight to where it's pulling your helmet in a certain direction. All right, so I'm going to get my little scale here and I'm actually going to weigh that up. All right. Eight ounces. So eight ounces is a half of a pound. So it'd be interesting to see how much this weighs compared to a standard GoPro mount. And I'm going to grab one of those right now. So these components are typically what you're going to find in the stock GoPro mount. So you're going to have the base, which is usually to have the 3M tape on the back. You have the little clip there that goes in. Then you also have an arm that you're typically going to put on, something like that. So let's just weigh that up. Look at that, 8 ounces. So it weighs no more than what the typical GoPro mount setup is going to weigh. On your helmet that's important all right so we're gonna grab the helmet here we're just gonna tuck all that marketing wank inside and uh, test fit this uh, mount out here so I'm gonna get down kind of eye level see where it's gonna go as you can see when I mount, when I mount this thing on here it's not covering up any of the vents. I still have access to the front vent, and uh, I still have room down here that I can run my camera cord or my uh, microphone cord or whatever else I have. So, yeah, that's kind of neat, and it doesn't impede the uh, the view of the helmet at all. So, cool. So let's get the one of these alcohol pads out. And, uh, this is a new helmet, but still. We're just gonna do one little more quick test fit. I'm just gonna wipe down that so I don't screw up what I've already put on there. All right, that looks good to me. And you'll notice right here how it's very, it's cut very radius, like I'm trying to think of the word here, it's cut so that you can actually angle that camera quite far back because when you're riding, your head is not level. It's typically going to be tilted down like this, which means the camera has to be tilted back a little bit. And the way that that's cut in there is designed so that that camera is going to tilt back and get the proper angle or else you're just going to be staring at the handlebars. All right, so let's go for this one shot, one kill thing. So here we go. I get one, one chance to do this. We got to pull back on these wings a little bit. That, like that. And like that. And we got to get the right angle. And we're going to squeeze. Okay. 
It's not mentioned in here because it's really not a problem for California, but if it's cold out, you want to put a hair dryer or something on the plastic of your helmet so that this 3M tape sticks real good. But I'm just going to hold my hands over here for a minute and try to get some of this glue heated up. All right, and there we go. So, hopefully that's going to hold. Well, we will see. But uh, like I said, what I like about this company is these guys ride too. So they're, if they're using their own products and I see it on their, um, on their YouTube channel, then they're holding up. So let's take a nice close-up shot of here. You do see the finish on, uh, on this be a little bit rough. Um, it is a 3D printed uh, object. So there's bound to be a little bit of, you know... Uh, lines in where the uh, the layers go however it's not that expensive to buy so the more that they try to finish this off do some hand polishing that kind of thing or even tumble polishing the higher the cost is going to go so this is nice because it's a nice affordable product that uh, looks pretty good so like I said it's this is a initial review Maybe I'll do a follow-up after I get a couple rides in. But uh, other than that, I think it's a pretty decent product. So, Wannabes, you can go to Extreme Sports Wannabes on Facebook. Wannabes Extreme Sports on YouTube. Uh, looks like uh, Twitter? No. Instagram, Extreme Sports Wannabes. And wannabes.life, triple W dot. That's the website. So, I'll just show you right here. So there you go. I just made a mess on the kitchen table for everybody to see. Um, we'll see how things go. So thanks, Wannabes, for uh, shipping that out so quick. Um, that was really cool because it actually took only about a week to get here since I ordered it. And I came from California, and I am in Nova Scotia. So that's literally the complete opposite of North America. So cool. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll catch you on the next run. Bye, guys.